Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Scrap Empire. My name is Zach Hayes, and this video is for the undercard of the Anthony Joshua versus Alexander Usyk bout that I just uploaded about two hours ago. Now, we're going to be featuring Lawrence Hokoli going up against Dylan Prasavi. Now, for my Scrap Empire subscribers, for my boxing subscribers, for my boxing fans, for my mixed martial arts fans, you guys should uh, watch. And I'm not telling you guys what to do, but there's an interesting fight between Lawrence Okoli and Luke Watkins. Now, from a superficial aesthetic standpoint, right, you know I love using that word. It's just I love using it. Can't help it, right? La Lawrence Okoli has a very defined physique as a boxer, you know, and he reminds me of my uncle, Mark Breland. And just by the way, or just as an FYI, Mark Breland isn't my blood uncle. That's my cousin's father. But I call him my uncle because his cousin is basically my brother. That's my His son is my blood cousin. I'm just clarifying that. His son is my blood cousin. That's my first cousin. Back to what I was saying, though. He reminds me of a Mark Breland, right? Just with his lanky physique. And he has defined, like, like you know, he just he's ripped up. And with the fight between him and Luke Watkins, right? <laughs> you have to be aware that Lawrence Cauley fought his fight. He was landing the jabs, you know, landing the straight punches that are trying to create a statement. And not only trying to create a statement, but showing the judges that you want the fight. I love when fighters come into the fight and they're letting people know through their performance that they just want it. They can want it from ending the fight early or getting their hands raised, or having the judges determine the fate of the bout. But they wanted it. But he 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 fought like he wanted the victory. And you have to understand those straight punches. I keep on telling you guys, for some odd reason, a lot of European fighters have an have have that jab 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 straight punch unorthodox style it only seems unorthodox since we're in the states right because you know we have more of a modern style when it comes to boxing you know you have people who have a conventional style like floyd or somebody like trying to think of a boxer in the states like Errol Spence or somebody like Mikey Garcia when you watch them fight it's conventional like they don't look unorthodox when they're fighting not there's anything wrong looking unorthodox but there is such thing as a conventional style right you know even Roy Jones Jr. had an unorthodox style but he utilized it to his advantage. Back to my point, Luke Watkins, I mean, Lawrence Akali, you know, was able to create a huge impact from his style. And then it got to a point where he was able to end the fight early. This is what I like from my um, British boxers. We take so much pride in our performance. We look at the guys such as Joshua. We look at the guys such as Lennox Lewis. You look at the guys such as Frank Bruno. You look at the guys such as Nigel Ben. The British boxers always come. 
are always coming to the ring to create a statement. I'll say that one more time, ladies and gentlemen. The British fighters are always coming into the ring to create a statement. Now, let's get started with Dillian Prosopic. Now, there's about, that goes up to 36 minutes on YouTube. And he fought an, an opponent in his native country. So, when I look at Dillian Prosopic's style, number one, he has a tattoo, right? Even though that doesn't mean anything. But just off the way how he moves, very aggressive. Well, you, you know who you, Dillian Prosopic fights not exactly like, but he fights a little bit like Dimitri Bivol. And what I mean is not the way how their body moves, like their body, they don't have, their bodies don't move the same, but Dillian Prosovic's punches are, like he's a very heavy handed guy. And Dimitri Bivolf is also heavy handed as well. Now, am I going to say he's just as heavy handed as Dimitri Bubo? I wouldn't say that because this is my first time watching a Dillian Prosopic bout. I've watched so many more Dimitri Bubo boxing matches, full boxing matches. You know, the one with him is Sullivan Beret and another one with him and Joe Smith Jr. And I just see that Dimitri Bubo is way more heavy handed, way more heavy handed than Dillian Prosopic. But they fight a little bit. Um, they, they, they share some similarities and they, they, they have similar styles so that's what I'm so that's why I'm so fascinated with just observe, with, with observing styles and also Dylan Prosovic he's very very strong and aggressive like there was times throughout the belt where he would just come in and just throw shots but again he's throwing these shots with so much aggression right and like this is the tempo that he's keeping up with throughout all of the rounds all of the rounds which eventually led him towards getting a knockout right so you have Lawrence Okoli who was able to knock out Luke Welton Watkins. And then you also have, then you also have Dylan Prosopic, who was able to, who was able to knock out his opponent, not as fast as Lawrence Akali, but he was still able to knock out his opponent. All right. So you have two guys. One Lawrence Akali from England. One Dylan Prosopic from Eastern Europe. Both guys in a boxing room who are trying to create a statement. Now, whose style do I think has? Not, now, whose style do I think is suit to win this bout? Now, I think Lawrence Akali has skill. I think Lawrence Akali has a great jab to create space for him to land more strikes. But I just see Dillian Prosovic being... Um, it's not that his aggression is going to help win the fight because there's plenty of aggressive fighters who get knocked out by less aggressive fighters. So the aggression doesn't mean much. It's just I like how uh, I like how Prosovic I like how he's able to come forward and use his heavy hand as a tool. To really hurt you. Now that has nothing to do with being like what I just explained. That takes skill because any aggressive person can hit you. But what happens if you don't have skill with that aggression? Right now, your ability to box has been stripped away. And Dillian Prosovic isn't only heavy-handed; he's also skilled as well. When you look at how when you look at the way how, when you look at how he moves across the ring, you know he, he 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 his legs are constantly moving. Right, it isn't like he just 
he's pushing his feet towards his opponent he's trying to throw a strike note like he's using you know actual technique to act to, to create punches in order for you to land strong punches you need to be able to you need to create punch you, you need to you need to create the opportunities for you to even land the punches. If nothing's being, if you if you can't create space to throw punches, then you aren't a boxer. You're just a brawler, and there's nothing wrong with being a brawl. Again, everybody has their own style. But what I like about Dillian Prosopic, he knows how to create space to land a punch, and that's something that in boxing, you know, that's that's all. It's all. Boxing technique. I'm not saying that Lawrence Oko doesn't have the ability to create space because he showed that he has the ability just from using that master class jab against Luke Wobbins. I just don't see him having the. I, I just don't think that it's better than. I don't think that his style is. is it, I don't think he's able to create as much space as Dylan Prosovic. And plus, he's more heavy handed. And again, not aggression doesn't win fights. Being heavy-handed doesn't win fights. You know, being strong doesn't win fights. It's really about technique, timing, and accuracy that wins fights. Look at Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder, even Tyson Fury admitted it. Deontay Wilder is the most, he's a strong, he's the most dangerous guy on the planet. But what happens when you have somebody like Tyson Fury who comes from a bare knuckle boxing family all the way up to from, from the 1800s and actually knows how to box, then all of your dangerous ability that all of your now all of your dangerous you know um, your, your 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 dangerous demeanor is stripped away from you so that le now and I'm, not, and I'm not going to say it leaves Deontay Wilder powerless because I would never disrespect Deontay Wilder like that it's just when people know how to go up against like there's always a count a counterpart for anything and just because a person doesn't have a style that's similar to yours, it doesn't mean that they can't find a counterpart to go up to to to, to fight against it. So that's just what I want uh, um, Lawrence and Cody to understand. You know, I think that you're a great fighter. It's just I, you need to find. I just don't see. I I don't see him having a style that's. That, that that will allow him to win against the land process. I just don't see it. But I'm not underestimating him, nor am I giving him the benefit. And I'm, and I'm always willing to give him the benefit of the doubt. Prove me wrong. But I just see Dylan Prosser being a more complete fighter for this upcoming bout against these two gentlemen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching the Scrap Empire. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Please leave any constructive criticism that you think will allow myself to elevate my channel as well, please. And please um, just keep on watching my content. It will be greatly appreciated. And thank you so much for taking the time out of your lives to watch this. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye-bye.